again, across physics, chemistry, biology, psychology, sociology, economics, business, policy, astronomy, you know, across the disciplines, we see part whole structure universally. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so we did. I, I, was many, a, many yeah. studies show this, uh, we'll this find phenomenon. The number. Um, so let's talk about a few of them that I've got highlighted. Mm -hmm. So the first one was um, by Pellegrino. Yep. I don't know if they're related to Pellegrino water, but Pellegrino. Pretty same sure name. they're not. I know. <laughs> they did, and I'm going to refresh your memory, and then we'll yeah. talk about the significance. They did morphs of dogs and cats. With chimps. And had chimps look at them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, do you remember that? Yep. So um, the idea was to see if monkeys could uh, categorize the difference between dogs and cats. Mm -hmm. And they found that 90% of the time they could they could do that. They could sort them into groups of cats and dogs. Yeah, and, and not only that, they could do it. So they, they're showing them pictures of dogs, yep. pictures of cats, and they get those right. Yeah. But they could... So that's kind of distinguishing, right? Uh -huh. But then they would show them morphed pictures of yep. like 70% dog, 30% cat. Yep. And they would get those right. They would get yes. the the part the partial nature yeah. of the morphed images right. Yeah. 60%, 50%. Yep. It's kind of crazy if you it think about it. It is kind of crazy. Um, then there was another and one. And the, the, yeah. the morphed cat dog pictures are, they're kind of creepy. They're creepy. They look a little bit to me like um, weird mountain lions or something. They, they're strange they look looking. Evil. Well, but I think you know it's why like dogs are cat. Dogs are cute and cats are cute, but dog cats are not. Cute. They're strange. They're weird looking. Anyway. All right. So talking about um, groupings in yes. nature. Yeah. Then um, there was another study where um, that showed that we make groupings just just based on language, where there were a bunch of objects and some of yes. them a. Um, Started with the same letter. Yeah. Like octopus, ostrich, orange. Orange. Whatever. Ohio. People sort of naturally grouped those. And they call those categories. In the study, they call those categories. Yes. But what's important about that is that the there's a relationship between those things, those parts. Mm -hmm. And that relationship is utilized as a perspective to group them that way. Yes. But they're not inherently grouped that way. No. They're just grouped that way according to that perspective. So you can see relationships of, oh, they all start with O. Yeah. And that's what makes Ohio group with ostrich. Yeah, which is not something you <laughs> Which is not like a... Say. But, you know, at some point in time for a crossword or something, it might be important to make that grouping. But... That grouping is very fluid and very dynamic because at yeah. other times that would be a completely erroneous grouping, right? Well, unless you're a th second grade teacher and you're trying to think of all the words all the that start words. with O. Exactly. And then it becomes and incredibly meaningful. A linguistic yes. category. It right? becomes a, a critical grouping. Yeah. yeah. And then all of a sudden in another situation it's from another right. perspective, it's it's a completely erroneous, unimportant yep. uh, grouping. And yeah. then there was another study that looked at grouping by things like color. Color, like red things, like yeah. stop signs and lobsters and stuff what like that. What else are red things? You think of some red things. Roses, strawberries, yeah. Yeah. fire trucks. Yep. Yeah. And then there was another study that showed we naturally inherently sort of categorize things by function. Yes. Right, like writing implements become a category, musical instruments. Musical instruments. You know all those worksheets in school where it's like, match these things up, group them in a category, baseball bats. Yeah, so what's what, so this is interesting, right? Because th this study is saying, you know, we're we group stuff by color, we group stuff by the letter, we group stuff by the function. There's all these different ways that we group stuff mm -hmm. by meaning from yes. the perspective of. That's right? right. Seeing the relationships between them and then turning that into a perspective that groups the thing, right? Mm -hmm. But here's the thing. Anything could be a perspective. By which you group By something. which you group something. Yeah. Anything, not just those categories, those categorical yeah. perspectives, but anything could be used to group. Yeah. And so 
the function of grouping, the function of organizing parts into a whole is an infinitely large set, yes. which could be anything could cause things to group. Well, what's interesting about that, yeah. what you just said is that that happens in nature. Yes. And also in your mind. That's right. So nature can organize things in an infinite way, infinitely possible number of, you know, infinite. Oh, I'm saying that wrong. Infinite numbers of ways. Yeah. And in our own mind, we can do that. We can we can organize things in any way. In any different way. Anything. We want. Yeah. But also that means that then there's often a difference. Yeah. And so what we want to do is try to figure out, like, sometimes we want to be creative. Like if we're writing a Harry Potter novel or something like that. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. You can you can have three headed dogs, and you can be very creative about the way you group yeah. things. You could you could group a, a part whole of a giraffe's body with a lion's head, and yes. you could put those two together and make a creative new animal. Yes, right. But you could also you might also want to get in greater alignment with the reality on the ground, which is how are things grouping in reality, right? Yes. How are these terrorist networks yes. grouped yes. so that we understand how they're working? Yep. Well, that, that we want to make sure that our, our mental model of the grouping is mimicking how, mimicking it's, actually how it's actually happening. Yes. Either both of those are part whole grouping, but they're but they're just different, you know, purposes. 